Hey everybody, how you doing? Good to see you. Well, let's see, I hopefully won't get too far ahead of myself, but today um, I'm going to do something that I've had a few of you request on doing. I get vinyl all the time, I get new vinyl, I get used vinyl, and today I'm going to show you proper way to clean vinyl. So what we're going to get ready to do is to do that. Um, my brother used to work at a radio station back in the day when they had just vinyl. That was it. That's all they had was vinyl. So they had to wash their records and this is the way that they used to do it. So this is my way I'm going to show you the exact same way they did in the, in the uh, radio station. So this is Beetle Brad's budget way to do it. So you get any kind of soap, you could buy this at the dollar store or any kind of cheap store. It's just a liquid hand soap. You don't need the most expensive hand soap. But this is really good. And then these little sponges, which are Mr. Clean. See? Uh, Mr. Clean. These are like little ridges. Um, that'll, that'll serve another purpose. I'll show you that in a second. And then you need one of these. This is a little bit softer. And we definitely will show you what this does in just a couple seconds. So... This is the album I bought, and it is the Beach Boys' Wild Honey, as you can see the album. All right, and it's original stereo press, and as you can see, this album is fairly okay, but it's actually actually it's filthy. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to clean this record. So what you want to do is have your water on. You don't want the water too hot. You don't want it too cold. It'll take about 45 minutes for it to heat up. <laughs> but we'll get it going in a few minutes, so just hang on. Just give me an hour, okay? Man, you're pressuring me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just going crazy. All right. You don't want to soak the label, but you can get a little bit of water on the label. It's not going to really disastrously ruin the label. And as you can see, I'm kind of kind of going all over the record here. Like I said, I probably got too much on the label there. And then I got it fairly wet, and then you flip over the other side. And like I said a little bit too much there on the on the hot water. See the hot water is now kicking in. A little damper of this off just a little bit because uh all right, it's still a little warm. Okay, and then, best thing is to, the less you use, like a little bit, drop it here and a little drop on the other side. So as you can see, I got a drop there and a drop there. And by doing a swirl motion around the record, as you can see, get around the edges. You can go like this if you want to, go, go like that. Or a swirl mark, you really can't scratch it, you really can't ruin the record. These are actually a whole lot more durable than you think. And we do have our water running. Like I said, that's a little warm, but that's no, it's not, that's not too warm. So we've gone all the way around the record. Like I said, don't worry about the label, you won't ruin the label just as long as you don't soak it. Okay, spin it around, and this is a lot more economically doing this than buying a, a real expensive record cleaner machine. I mean, yes, you could buy one of those, they do a fantastic job. A friend of mine has one, and he uses it. Okay, now for the other side. A swirling motion here. I'm trying to move in as much as close as possible as I can to the sink, but it's kind of hard. Actually, right at my feet as we started this, I've got my dog Bentley who is sitting right at my feet and he is not budging. <laughs> so, you notice I'm having a little bit of difficulty reaching over. That is why. Okay, let me move along here. So we're now doing the other side of the record. <laughs> I 
just kind of spinning with your hands, like I said, and get all down in the grooves. You actually could do a really pretty, pretty good job of that. Kind of shake it off a little bit. Turn the water off. This is where we start using this to just kind of go around it. And what this does, it just kind of dries it out a little bit. Takes a little bit of that water and soapiness off. Do the other side. And then how many of you remember back in the 60s they had the uh, show. To get a little more of this off. Sometimes they use too much soap, and that's kind of what's happened this time. And that's okay. You can rinse it off again. And I had this sitting here in case I had too much. And this is the only thing I use this for is this record. So don't freak out thinking I'm washing the dog with it and all that kind of stuff. Set that aside. Um, like I said, cleaned up pretty well. And in the 60s, there was a song called Tommy Kangaroo Downsport. And this is how you clean it. And that's how they did the record. You know, Tommy Kangaroo Downsport. Okay, I won't sing. I don't want to lose viewers. But anyway, this is air drying it. And as you can see, by me waving it back and forth, then you flip the record over. And you can air dry it this way. By air drying it, it... it makes it a whole lot better than trying to use a towel or to use this once again or something else kind of doing it quickly but this will actually start to start to beat up a little bit and it starts to shine up a little bit yes i do have some more water in there i know that but i'm trying to trying to show you okay um, and this, this will clean up quite well, actually. And if not, I do have another way of cleaning records and deep cleaning them. I and mean, maybe we'll show that in another, another episode. Okay. Set this aside, let it dry for a second. And here's the cover. The covers were paper, this side and this side. The UK, they made them a lot better to where they had a shinier finish but here in America we were cheapened and so this is where this comes in Mr. Clean just kind of damp it a little bit and you want to go over the cover very quickly so you don't get it too wet and just by doing that look look how much dirt I got off of the cover just by cleaning it let me go back to this towel. Let me shut this off. Kind of wipe it off a little bit. And you can do the same thing with uh, this record cover as you can the record. You can kind of air it off like this. Flip it over. Kind of air it up. See, and it kind of it kind of cleaned up pretty well, actually. You know, you can kind of see the dirt that I had on the um, sponge. So the sponge had a lot on that, and we don't want to touch the record too much because we just cleaned it. Um, this did this did clean up nicely. I guess I got a little bit of, but see, as time goes on, that'll that'll dry out. See, like I said, you can flip this. And also, today, I'm doing it specially because I've got a lovely assistant helping me. My wife is great, so she's helping me. So you can see this. So here's the inner uh, jacket I bought for. I didn't buy one of the polyfill ones. I didn't get one just because I didn't have one available for this video. But there's the inside. And then here is the inner that we'll use for the, the plastic itself for the jacket for the record to protect it and actually it's not perfect use this again it's not perfect but it will it will play well like I said we got the rest of that water that's kind of just sitting there I got, I got too much water because I was talking while I was doing that but that should clean it up pretty well. And there should be a 
pretty good shine on that, as you can see. It's got a little bit more of a shine. It's not perfect, but you know, for an old record like it is, it cleaned up pretty well. So, as I hold my record and my jacket, this is kind of a quick, easy way from Beetle Brad to show you how to clean your own records. And new records are just as bad as old records. So even though you've bought a brand new 180 gram, they are just as filthy as the old records. So you do need to clean those as well because they do get very bad and very dirty. A lot of static clean and you can wash them very quickly. So, okay everybody, I have rambled on way too long. <laughs> And I think we need to end this video as we are. So as I say on my videos, everybody, I am out of here. Take care, everybody. See ya.